Today, my wife and I are visiting a Colonial Williamsburg, an amazing living history museum in Virginia that tells the early part of America's enduring story. Come along with me and my wife as we explore a history buff's paradise. That's coming up next. First visit to the joinery here. To the joinery? All yep. right. You know, we're easy to miss. I've had visitors say, you know, I've come here for 30 years and I've never seen the joinery. We kind of, we're kind of a nondescript building. <laughs> we are uh, working on some windows today, so i got one more to do. I have my frame knocked together. Um, now I need to work on the sash bars, right? The inner to the grid part of that. Um, these are going to be installed into the John Saunders house, which is one of our antique buildings, but don't go looking for it. It's not an exhibition site, and it's kind of really far by the Decorative Arts Museum. Um, but it is one of our antique buildings. We're replacing some modern windows in bad repair with traditionally built window sash. These, this is a really common outlet for us, sash windows. Probably our second common, common most second most common thing are our panel doors. Um, we're doing all of the dressings of the home. We don't build the structure. That's, of course, carpentry and brick lane. And you can see those two trays on Nicholson Street. They're open every day. They're kind of step one, doing the initial construction of the structure. Frame, roof, floor, sides, laying the foundation on that. Then we come in and fill in the gaps again with doors and windows. We're also adding things like the crown molding and cornice. The mantles around the fireplace, shutters, railings, banisters and balusters. We're doing all of the trim work, so not contributing to the structure's longevity, but rather what it looks like. Um, and like I said, we really do this. This is really our job, adding these decorative elements to the home. Um, so today, like I said, I need to work on these sash bars. I have half of the molding done. You can see that it's rounded right here. Now I need to do the other half, and then once I do that, I can start putting together the joinery for it. Um, but this is uh, one of the most maddening parts of joinery. <laughs> it's got to be a flash part. I've been avoiding it. I can avoid it no longer. <laughs> if you guys have any questions while you look around, please don't be shy. I'm happy to take them for you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a cooper shop, so we make round wooden containers. Okay. That would be buckets, tubs, churns, mm -hmm. casks, barrel shaped things. Uh, I've actually been working on a wine hog's head, uh, which is a 63 gallon container. One of my colleagues is working on some tubs, and my other colleague is working on small buckets. Different odds and ends. Uh, if you look in, if you have questions, certainly feel free to ask. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap for this Colonial Williamsburg video. I hope you really enjoyed it, getting to see another part of this amazing Living History Museum. If you like this sort of stuff, check out my other videos. Check out colonialwilliamsburg.org to plan your own visit here. It makes it so much co cooler in real life than it is on film. Till next time, this is History Buff, TN Photobug signing out. I'm having a blast with the past.